Hey, you. Yeah, you. I know you got dreams. Just like me, huh? Well, those dreams aren't going to fulfill themselves, are they? So I believe you're here because you want to strive for your dreams. Well, then you're going to have to step out of that comfort zone of yours. you ask because the comfort zone is quite literally a graveyard for your highest ideas and dreams yeah and i know many of y'all may be thinking uh and uh yeah a lot of change has been happening to me recently sorry for being inactive but i promise y'all it's been building up to something it's been building up for a hustle like never before so just be prepared from what's to come from me and a special person in my life. To be able to rise above your comfort zone, you're gonna have to be aware and understand it in every aspect, or else it's gonna rise above you. As the only way you can truly overcome or detach from something, you're going to have to be aware of its every move. So with that said, it's time to put on the real talk Glasses. If you are someone who stays in their comfort zone most of the time or are just addicted to comfort, I must make this clear that you are missing out on so many things. You will truly never know what you are capable of if you don't step out of your comfort zone on a consistent basis through choice. And let me remind you, you are an infinite, powerful being. All is mind. And in my perspective, which I've built through all my experiences, once you go out of this comfort zone of yours, this illusionary wall, you can finally meet your true self, the one that strives to be the best they can and evolve spiritually. And some call this aspiration Heru. Through going out of your comfort zone, you're gonna learn endless things, including your infinite possibilities. And the only way to truly find and pursue your passions and dreams is outside of your comfort zone. Just to get what you want out of life and begin to create your own ideal reality, it is a must that you go out of your comfort zone. This can just go on and on. When you consistently leave your comfort zone, you will see life start to be, start to just turn into a movie or a game. Anything is merely a choice away. Nothing can stop you once you begin to adapt and normalize being out of the comfort zone. Because mind over matter and all is mind. I bet most of y'all can hardly even understand those two powerful statements, but I'll let you understand them on your own. The content in which I'm about to provide you with in this video will give you immense motivation, but not in the way you think. I will be providing pure, straight to the point wisdom that I consider scientific, that I have gained throughout my journey, striving to become my greatest version. The only way to truly overcome something is to be completely aware of it. I have to express the importance of that sentence, which is why I am demanding you to watch this video all the way through. No, I'm, I'm, I'm playing with you. But seriously, to truly reap the value of this video, you're gonna have to watch all the way through. So stick with me. I'm gonna be giving all my knowledge I have in the comfort zone that has allowed me to fight myself to where I am today. And to pursue your dreams, you definitely will not be sitting in comfort the whole time. So what are you waiting for? It's time to go to war with yourself. Let's get it. The first topic we gotta speak out when we're talking real on the comfort zone is 
the ego. The ego is very well attached to the comfort zone. This is your survival mechanism. It is what has allowed us to survive to where we are today. Your comfort zone seems so great in the moment, following your short-term impulses, but in reality, it's destroying your long-term growth. Think of it this way. All types of growth and progress is found outside of your comfort zone through these illusionary walls. Don't ever forget that. The comfort zone is ruled by the ego. So anytime you strive to push outside of it, the ego will fight you like it's life or death. When in reality, it's just a survival mechanism doing its job that it's evolved to do. Key point here is that the comfort zone plays tricks on your mind. It will fool you and convince you to do whatever is easy, only thinking about the short term when really you need to be striving for the long term, the long term investments into yourself and your passions. For when you are striving for your dreams, you need this. You need to take on the long term perspective. Also some little motivation that was the biggest thing that pushed me to create my first video. The earlier you start, the faster you'll get used to the labor. This hit me hard as I knew the only time was now. If not now, then when? Life truly begins at the end of your comfort zone. And your comfort zone is quite literally the most dangerous place on earth. If abused, it will result in you being unhealthy and unbalanced physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Now, cracking up another soda and watching another YouTube video doesn't sound too appetizing, does it? The more aware you become, the easier it will be for you to overcome these petty short-term impulses and pursue your highest desires, these long-term desires. If you understand something, only then you can overcome it. I'm repeating this because of how important it is. So when you thoroughly understand the ins and outs of comfort, you can avoid its traps and pursue what is truly right to you. Yeah, I just rhymed on you. Watching things like YouTube can be a healthy thing and very beneficial to you if consumed properly and intelligently. It can help you become more aware and give you motivation, although temporary, to pursue these highest desires of yours. But you always have to keep in mind, health, flow, and balance come internally. You may gain knowledge from YouTube, yeah, but only when this is transformed into wisdom is when this will truly be of value to you and others in your life. Don't forget now, understanding plus experience equals wisdom. And it is very likely to even experience, you will have to go out of your comfort zone. I feel like I have to mention this because of just how valuable it is, but your diet is not just what you eat, but what you listen to, feed into, what you watch and what you do. Essentially, whatever has control over your consciousness is your so-called diet. Perception, short-term and long-term. You have two sides of your own being, your primal side and your evolved side, in which the primal side has your impulses that have helped us to survive to where we are now, and our evolved sides have developed an impulse control. This control is what we must pursue. Now don't get it twisted. Both of these sides of you merely are just different perspectives. One is short term and the other is long term. Well, how did these evolve the way they did? I'm sure you can logically figure that out yourself. Neither of these perspectives are good or evil. They are simply just doing their part. But as you are the choice maker in this game of life, you can either choose between whatever perspective you'd like. So choose wisely. But always remember, balance is the key to life. Have you ever heard of the game like Detroit Become Human? Well, in this game, you create your own unique story through choices. This is pretty much exact symbolism to real life and consciousness. This is the game of life and is scientifically proven to be a holographic reality that presents us with one tool and that is choice. 
when you consciously tune into the truth, the present moment, it will present you with choices. And from there, you consciously choose what you'd like. These choices will likely be between these short-term impulses or your lower self and your long-term impulse control or your higher self. You see, your higher self is no fantasy. It's simply just the more evolved side of your own being, which is what I like to call your true self, especially because the lower self will be your biggest enemy in our current modern world. But you must understand these things, as some may call the devil and angel on your shoulder, these two perspectives, but they are simply just two parts of you doing their part, living their purpose. One is for short-term survival and the other is for long-term higher consciousness needs. The short-term is constantly going to be serving your body's immediate needs, while your long-term will be what you make of it. This will likely be following your true journey and purpose in life. Challenge and willpower. This is like the most important part of this video and how to actually truly get out of your comfort zone. Well, all you have to do is simply choose to do so. Okay, it's not that simple. Making the right choices for your own growth and health will take willpower, that is physical energy. Choosing between ice cream cake or a salad, that will literally take your energy. Well, your impulses or ego and short-term thinking will try to take you over and every way your body will quite literally send dopamine to your brain and drop your blood sugar levels to get you to consume this cake you quite literally need to go to war with yourself to overcome a situation like this and this same situation applies to just making the choice to actually record a video for example you will debate whether you want to do it or not or working out this is on and on everything that is out of your comfort zone will come to this similar situation. Overcoming a impulse like that is no easy task. The impulses that try to make you take the easy path. It is not easy in the slightest bit. It will take going out of your comfort zone. And wow, how amazing is that? The only time you'll ever further develop and grow yourself is pushing out of your comfort. Therefore, the more you use your willpower to overcome these urges to take the easy way to stay in your comfort zone, the more your mind develops and adapts and strengthens itself to this new normal you are creating for yourself. In so many ways, you will expand your brain while going out of your comfort zone. And the main way this is done is just growing and strengthening your willpower, which is your connection with your true self or the way you pursue your highest desires. Every time you commit to a meditation, cold shower, or workout, pause. Oh, wait. What color do we have it? Every time you commit to meditation, cold shower, or a workout, or something of such that goes out of your comfort zone, it further develops your brain, and not only that, adapts you to this new normal you are now living. Let me make this clear for y'all. Once you go out of your comfort zone, you adapt and begin to normalize whatever that is you are doing. This applies to so many things, like Quitting junk food, for example, you will have dopamine levels to meet those junk food needs with high fat, high sugar, high salt. But after two weeks of eating healthy and limiting or just scrapping all that junk, your brain adapts and starts to actually like these healthy foods. This is why you should just set out to just making life your comfort zone. Normalize life, the ups and downs, the challenges and the breaks, the stressful times and the relaxing times, the happy and the depressing. These are all here to develop your being, but only when you are aware of this can you truly follow through with it. Open-mindedness and blessings in disguise. Tune into this part. 
These obstacles, challenges, stressful times, at first glance they seem like hell and terrible to you, but in reality they are blessings in disguise. These situations are either here for your personal growth or there to get you prepared for new opportunities ahead of you. Remember, we are living out a journey or what I like to call a divine plan. Everything in your individual life is set up for your own growth and progression. But only when you're aware of this and capable of stepping out of your comfort zone can you really understand this. But once you understand such a complex subject like this, and truly I mean this, everything starts going your way. It all begins to align for you. Whether these be good or bad times, they are always in your favor, blessings in disguise. But you see, once you understand they are blessings in disguise is when you can truly learn and evolve from these situations. Do not forget that now. You will always constantly be experiencing new things and leaving your comfort zone is merely learning to accept this change. Life is a continuous sequence of events. These are universal laws, quoting this, and in my experience, these events are perfectly aligned to your soul's path to get you on your divine purpose. As I stated before, what you likely and definitely understand now, true power comes with awareness and understanding. Only when you understand the true nature of yin yang can you reap the value of this continuous events, these cycles that are always mystery, but yet you are excited for them and prepared for whatever is to come. Once you hit this point in your life, you are truly living the game of life. No fucks given, you get to do what you want now. Free to create whatever reality in life you desire. Well, what do you really want out of life? With all that covered, the choice is yours. Do you want to stay an average Joe stuck in the system that's meant to trap you in short-term impulses or expand out of that and create your very own desired reality? I don't know about y'all, but that's a pretty easy choice for me. So how bad do you want it? For my loyal brothers and sisters still watching this, I have to... I just have to say I love you. You mean the world to me. And with that said, I have been distracted without a doubt, but I was going through immense change, a lot of transformation. And this hair is just a way of physically showing this change. And to myself, it is a way to show this new chapter of my life to myself and others. Also, I just wanted to go back to my roots, keep this, <laughs> or what my mom likes to call baby Kyle. But this loss of what was true to me was my problem. My problem, not my girlfriend's or my family's. It was an eternal battle that I needed to win to get back on my hustle, but stronger than ever. I have come to a point where it is so damn clear that the only obstacle is myself, that I, uh oh, <laughs> the script, <laughs> that I <laughs> am now full speed facing this head on like never before. I have come to a point where it is so clear that the only obstacle is myself <laughs> and that I am now just full speed having to face this head on like never before. I will rise further than anyone has witnessed before and now I will be accompanied by my or with the divine love of my life. So with that said, are you rising above with me or not? What the fuck are you waiting for? Make the right choice that's aligned with your true self. After this video, I hope you take on what feels right to you. Not your short term survival instincts, but you. Not only that, let's make this a habit. Agent of Divine, I'm this bitch. It's time to rise like never before. Peace.